Okay, so here we want to find the general solution of this differential equation. y double prime plus 2y prime plus 3y is equal to 17 times cosine of 2x. Now first notice that this is a second order, linear, non-homogeneous, because we don't have zero on the right hand side, differential equation with constant coefficients. The method that we're going to solve this with is we're going to find the general solution to the associated homogeneous differential equation, which is y double prime plus 2y prime plus 3y equals zero. And then we're going to find a particular solution of the non-homogeneous equation, this equation, one particular solution, and we're going to do that using undetermined coefficients. And then we're going to add those two together, and that's going to be our general solution for the non-homogeneous equation. Okay, so first off, we have to find the general solution to the homogeneous equation. And this you probably are familiar with, so I'm not going to go into it too much. If not, go back to a video to uh, see steps on that. We find the first find the characteristic equation, then we solve for r. Here, this is not factorable, so I'm going to use the quadratic formula. And I end up with 2 squared of 4 minus 4 times 1 times 3 divided by 2. And you're going to see here what you're going to end up with is negative 2 plus or minus square root of negative 8 divided by 2. And square root of negative 8 is the square root of 8 times i, which is 2 root 2 times i. And so if I divide the numerator by 2, I get negative 1 plus or minus root 2 times i. And so our two roots for the characteristic equation are negative 1 minus i and negative 1 plus i. And so our general solution for the homogeneous or complementary solution is c1 e to the negative x cosine root 2x plus c2 e to the negative x sine root 2x. Okay, so now we want to find a particular solution to the non-homogeneous equation up here. And we're going to do this using undetermined coefficients. We're going to choose our particular solution to be of the form y p of x to be a of cosine 2x plus b of sine 2x. Now, why do we choose this form of our particular solution? Well, if you think about it, what we're trying any solution of this, any solution y is going to be such that a linear combination of itself and its derivative is going to be equal to just a cosine of 2x, some multiple of cosine of 2x, specifically 17 times cosine of 2x. And you know that when we take the derivative of cosine of 2x and sine of 2x, we're going to get a multiple of cosine of 2x and sine of 2x. And so we're saying we want to find a function such that when you take its second derivatives with some multiple of cosine of 2x and sine of 2x, when you take its derivative and you take its linear combination just like this, we're going to end up with the sine part being 0 and the cosine part being 17. That's what we're really saying. But we don't know what coefficients, what a and b in this case, are going to give us, are going to give us that 17 multiple of cosine 2x and that 0 multiple of sine of 2x. That's what undetermined coefficients is for. So now we're going to take the derivative of, of this and the second derivative and we're going to plug it into the equation to see what a and b would work. The first derivative, I'll take it here, 2a chain rule. Go through these relatively quickly. A lot of computations, so you got to make sure you don't make a mistake here. But negative. Okay, so now I'm going to plug this in to in for y into the original equation. So I end up with y double prime, which is negative four a. Okay. And then I get plus 2 times y prime, 2 times y prime, plus 3 times y, And that, that all of this has to be equal to the right-hand side of the equation, 17 cosine 2x. 
Now again, we're trying to find the a and b such that the left-hand side of this equation is equal to the right-hand side of this equation. And I have to simple to do this. We have to simplify the left-hand side. So first, I'm going to take all this the terms with cosine of 2x. So we have negative 4a cosine 2x. We have this, but also remember multiplied by 2. And then we have this multiplied by 3. So if you factor out the cosine 2 of x, you get negative 4a plus 4b here, and then plus 3a. So we end up with negative a plus 4b of cosine of 2x. And then for the sine terms, we have negative 4b sine 2x. We have we had multiplied by 2, so we have negative 4a sine 2x, and then we have plus 3b sine 2x. So add those all together. We get negative 4a minus b sine 2x. Has to begin, has to be equal to the right hand side. And now we're going to equate coefficients, right? If the left hand side is going to be equal to the right hand side, then the coefficient on the cosine has to be equal to the coefficient on the cosine on the right hand side. And the coefficient of the sine has to be equal to, well, zero, the coefficient on the right hand side. And so now this gives us two equations, right? Negative a plus 4b is equal to 17. And also negative 4a minus b is equal to zero. And now we have two equations, we have two unknowns, and we can solve for a and b. So the way I'll do this is I'll take the second equation, I'll solve for b, b is negative 4a. Oh, negative 4a I meant. And then I'm going to plug that into the first equation. So I get negative a plus 4 times negative 4a. Plug that in for b. Then solve this for a. I get negative 17a is equal to 17. And so a is negative 1. And then I plug it into the equation for b. And I get b is negative 4 times negative 1. And so b is 4. And so there you go. We found our two coefficients. And so that means our particular solution, right? All we're doing is we're, is we're plugging it into this general part that we wrote here is negative cosine of 2x plus 4 times sine of, two, of 2x. And so now we found our homogeneous or complementary solution, and we found our particular solution. And so our general solution is going to be the sum of those y of x is equal to, let me go back up here, right? c1 e to the negative x cosine square root of 2 times x plus c2 e to the negative x sine square root of 2 minus cosine minus our, or, or adding our particular solution on cosine. Yikes, okay, there we go. So that is our final answer.